Adding annotations to a PDF is a good way to remind yourself or others about edits that need to be made or to note important information. Click the Annotations button here to open the Annotations bar. First in the Annotations bar is the Shape tool. With this, I can draw rectangles, ovals, lines, and arrows on a PDF. Just select the shape you want in the pull-down menu, then click and drag on the PDF. I can adjust the color of the annotation with the color menu here. Use the line width menu to change and adjust the thickness of the lines in a shape, or to change it to a dashed line. The next annotation tool is Highlight. Click this and then select text in a PDF. That text will be highlighted in whatever color is currently set up in the color menu. The easiest way to delete a highlight annotation is to right click on it and select Delete Annotation. The next two annotation tools also affect text. The first is Underline, and the next is Strike Through. Next is the Text Annotation menu. With this tool I can add text directly onto a PDF. I can add it in a standard text box or use a speech or thought bubble style. Click the Font Panel button here to adjust the look of your text. Next is the Notes tool. This adds a note sidebar to the PDF where text can be added. That text then has a line pointing from it to the location on the PDF where the note refers to. Remove the note sidebar by going to the View menu, Hide Notes. To see the notes again, just click on any of the note icons within the PDF. The Link tool can be very useful, especially for a PDF with many pages. I'll select the link tool and draw a box around the easy to connect feature paragraph. In the menu that appears above the box, I'm going to add a link to another page in the PDF. I'll link to page 6, which describes how to connect the drive. Turn the link tool off by clicking on it, then move over the connected paragraph and the cursor switches to a hand icon. Click and the PDF jumps to the linked page. Rather than just linking to a page in the PDF, I can also link to a web page from the PDF. I'll add a link box and switch this menu to URL. I'll just stick with apple.com as the address. Now when I click in that area, Safari opens apple.com.
Finally, we have the Signatures tool. This allows you to store digital signatures in preview that can be added to PDFs. First, I need to add a new signature. So I'll create one from the iSight camera on my Mac. In the Signature Capture window, a box on the left appears with the current view of my iSight camera. I have a signed piece of paper in black ink. Now I just need to hold the paper up so the signature rests on this blue line. When it looks OK, click Accept. Now when I open my signature tool, I have that signature available. Choose it and click and drag on the PDF to apply the signature at the size you need in as many places as you need.